Google's phones were the first to receive Android 13. However, this is no longer the case. The most recent version of Android is now being distributed by Samsung through an update to One UI 5. What's up guys? Sam here. Welcome to Tech Today TV. Before we start, I just want to take the time real quick to say thank you guys so much for 3000 subscribers. We are 7k away from our current goal right now. I'm so happy. The company's version of Google's mobile operating system, following a months-long beta period that started over the summer. The upgrade first appeared on a few of Samsung's best smartphones, but it has now begun to spread to more models. Wondering what's going on? Here is all the information we have about One UI 5. One UI is Samsung's collection of software skins, or customizations for Android. Every numbered Android release since One UI's launch in 2018, has also gotten a significant One UI update. Android 9 served as the foundation for One UI 1, Android 10 served as the foundation for One UI 2, and so on. On Android 13, One UI 5 is built. Many Samsung phones, including those in the Galaxy S22 and Galaxy S21 series and others, already have the update installed, further devices will get it in the ensuing weeks and months. Let's focus on the new features in UI 5. Lock Screen Customization Samsung introduced a bunch of new lock screen features in One UI 5. You can change the style of the clock, how notifications display, tweak shortcuts, and change your lock screen wallpaper, all from the lock screen. To open the editor, press and hold anywhere on the lock screen. You can also remove elements entirely, in case you're tired of seeing app shortcuts or a clock on your lock screen. One UI 5 also lets you make lock screen wallpapers out of videos, so you could set a video wallpaper and remove all your lock screen elements to be greeted by a fun animation every time you turn your phone screen on. Not entirely practical, but fun. Notification design changes. It's a minor tweak, but one of the first you're likely to notice when you fire up One UI 5. The notification panel looks a little different. App icons are larger and more colorful, which should help you parse what notifications came from which app at a glance. An early One UI 5 beta also changed the number of quick settings icons displayed when the notification shade is partially expanded. However, it's still 6 by default in the final release. Bixby Text Call. One of the most exciting new One UI 5 features is Bixby Text Call, which is Samsung's take on the call screen feature in Pixel phones. Galaxy phone users can have Bixby answer calls for them, and a readout of what the caller says appears on the screen. Samsung takes the experience further than Google. With Text Call, you can type responses, and Bixby reads them to your caller, according to Sammobile. This feature is currently exclusive to Samsung phones running One UI 5 in Korea, so you, probably, can't use it yet. English support should be coming in early 2023. One UI 5 Modes One UI 5 includes a new feature called Modes. One UI 5's modes are more or less the same as Bixby's routines, except modes can be activated either automatically, when set criteria are met or manually. When you know you'll want one, you could, for example, Configure your workout mode to silence notifications and open Spotify when your Galaxy phone detects you're working out. But because it's a mode rather than a routine, you can also trigger the setup manually before your workout. Widget changes. Samsung's smart widgets aren't new. You've been able to stack like-sized widgets to save space since before One UI 5 was released. But One UI 5 makes a smart change. Now, to create widget stacks, you drag and drop widgets on top of each other from your home screen. Previously, it was a more involved process that involved fiddling with menus. New wallpapers. Wallpaper selection varies from device to device, but with One UI 5, the Galaxy S22 series features a bunch of new preloaded wallpapers under headings labeled graphical and colors. They're pretty basic, but Samsung phones tend to come with fewer default wallpapers than devices from other manufacturers, so any improvement is a welcome one. Call background customizations. In One UI 5, you can set custom background colors for each contact that shows when you get a call from that number. It's a small change, but it can make it easier to tell who's calling from a distance or at a glance. More color themes. Samsung has offered Material U style dynamic theming since One UI 4.1, where you could pick from three dynamic themes based on your wallpaper or a single stock theme. That makes UI accent colors primarily blue. Options vary by wallpaper, but in One UI 5, you'll see as many as 16 wallpaper based dynamic options and 12 static themes in a range of colors, including four two tone options. Plus, when you apply the theme to your app icons, 
It is applied to all apps that support themed icons, not just Samsung's own. New Multitasking Gestures in Labs One UI 5 introduces a couple of new navigation gestures that are especially helpful on large screen devices like the Galaxy Z Fold 4. One lets you swipe up from the bottom of the screen with two fingers to enter split screen mode. The other lets you swipe in from one of the screen's top corners to open the app you're currently using in a floating window view. You must enable the gestures in the lab section under advanced features in your Samsung phone settings. Camera changes. There are a handful of tweaks to the Samsung camera experience in One UI 5. Pro mode now has a histogram option to help you dial in brightness, plus a help icon that gives tips on how to use all those settings and sliders better. You can also watermark photos with custom text. Contextual actions. One UI 5 makes liberal use of optical character recognition or OCR. OCR lets your phone read text from images or real life, converting it to text you can copy and paste. In the case of web addresses, phone numbers, and the like, you're also able to take immediate action. For example, tapping a phone number you've taken a photo of in Samsung's gallery app lets you place a call to the number without entering it manually into the phone app. One UI 5 began testing in beta in early August, and started arriving on the Galaxy S22 series and stable in October. Since then, it's been making the rounds to various other Samsung devices, including the Galaxy S21 series and the Galaxy A53. Samsung hasn't made any specific promises about when phones in the US and Europe will get the One UI 5 update. However, based on a schedule provided to Korean users, it seems like most users who are going to see the One UI 5 update should get it by early 2023. Share your thoughts and comments below, I hope you found our content interesting, and if you did, please like and hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video.